So I've been seeing a lot of guys on Facebook and whatnot that uh, can't figure out how to align the belt on these mud skipper surface drives. <clears throat> I'm no mechanic or a boat painter, but I figured out how to make this one work. Now, let me show you what I started with. Last year, <clears throat> I got into these boats because I live on the York River. It's right over there. And it's knee deep or less in most spots. So I got this boat for 300 bucks. Decked it out a little bit and put this motor on it. This is a, you know, a little six and a half horsepower, a little spice to it. I've actually had this boat doing 22 miles an hour. Super sketchy, don't recommend it. But yeah, so anyway, I ended up buying this 1448, which I totally recommend. You should always get the widest boat you can possibly get for 500 bucks this is the same one i posted videos of last year i just painted it and we use it and it's beat up but it works so i've been through three of these belts i think and i was trying all kinds of stuff i've moved it back forth up down all that i even you know you guys too i'm sure you've had these problems where these rings come off like I did and I even had taken one of these and cut the top of it off because it fits on there perfect you can throw a couple washers on throw a hole in it and it works <clears throat> but anyway what I found out that I can do these get washers I don't know if everybody's case is bent like a banana but mine is now i've seen in the instructions that mud skipper gave that there were supposed to be some collars and stuff like that that i didn't get and i've talked to them a couple different times and they did send me a free belt and sprocket but i shredded that too and I had to buy another one <clears throat> so what i did like i said i've moved this back and forth in and out and all that so what i did i mean you could see just added washers. I had to get longer bolts for up here and just added washers on it. And just thicker to smaller as you go down. And just moved it away from the engine some. Because this belt just wants to walk. It just wants to rub on the front of this case. So I moved it like this and then ran washers the whole way down just to keep it away. So the lower you go, the less, least amount of washers there is. You can see in there. There's three, it's like four and five. What's that, eight? <clears throat> so that kicks this out some. So it makes the belt wanna run as true as I can get it. I believe the next time that I do this, I'm going to, the next time I change the belt, I'm going to add longer bolts down here and see if I can move it out a little bit more because I'm all the way at the end with these here. But you could take these out. They're just screwed into here with a little bit of Loctite and put longer ones in and see if I can kick that out some and see if I can get it straight a little more. I don't know if you can see down there, but it's on that sprocket and it was rubbing against the front of this and just chewing my belts to pieces i'd only get a couple hours out of them and they would just trash and then i'd be stuck on the river <clears throat> which isn't a good time and i think i have i can't tell i think there's 20 hours on it now most of it was stock now the motor's got a little bit of things done to it I got the uh, Performance 670 adapter, or Performance Machine and Design now, adapter, 
with some $35 Amazon carb. I'm running a 135 jet. I live in Pittsburgh, if that helps anybody out. Um, the governor's still there. It's just, I got a spring holding it open. <clears throat> uh, for you guys that said I needed something going from here to here or here to here or whatever, these been on here for a year and I'm a horrible welder, as you can see, and they're still fine. <clears throat> and they sound good. Um, I highly recommend doing this. Those stock carburetors are junk. I've seen you guys, a lot of guys on there trying to get some more speed out of these things, trying to get it rev higher with the uh, stock carb on it. And you can't get it to idle low and rev high. You only have a certain window. So this came with the mud skipper kit here. And I just shaved this down. And this got me a lot more RPMs. <clears throat> if you need a good look at it. It's just, it's basically a finger throttle now. But uh, that did help out. But I ended up going with the knockoff Mancuni anyway. Because it's just, it idles good now. And you get a lot more RPM range. <laughs> Had this boat doing 29 mile an hour down the yacht. It's a 10 inch prop that's been banged on a few times. <clears throat> like I said before, the boat's a 1448 that I decked out uh, in the springtime. The hatches are Tiny Boat Nation. We use it, gives you a lot of space. <clears throat> the middle seat was right here. So I have pretty much from here to about here of space inside of it, which is a pretty big area. We wanted it like this so we can hang out and lay on it and fish on it. Uh, the framing is all aluminum underneath of it. It's all angled aluminum. <clears throat> and then uh, street signs all underneath here that I got off Marketplace. And then just aluminum angle to finish it off that I should have sanded and painted and recessed the gas tank. This is running an electric fuel pump, but I don't have a regulator on it. Right here, Edelbrock. This is my second one. The first one lasted like three days. I wasn't too happy about it. I do have a regulator that I was running. It does work. They do work. You can get these at the auto parts store. But honestly, I don't really feel like I need it. It doesn't really run any different any other way. The only thing I noticed is at night, when I'm running it hard for a long time, it does blow some flames. But I'm cool with that. <clears throat> this is the Johnny Yawksville, by the way. So live on the York River. There's all my switches. There, we got two batteries in there. We keep other stuff in here. <clears throat> Just got a couple headlights on the front. It's got interior lights on it and then the light poles. All pretty much Amazon stuff, even the flooring. It's all lighted on the inside. Poles light up. Usually. There's a fuel pump. Okay, they ain't working. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so this is the boat. <clears throat> this is the motor. You guys don't need to buy an expensive catch can. <clears throat> Aluminum beer can works just fine. Uh, the choke's up here now. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's about it. Like I said before, all you guys really got to do is just space that out. You kick that belt out some. And it gets it going. I haven't changed it yet this year. And I beat on this thing. This boat gets beat. The motor gets beat. It gets bounced off rocks. And I mean, you can see 
there's supposed to be gaps in here and it's hit so hard it took that gap out of there. I've had to change a couple of these because I snapped them off. Uh, this mud skipper kit could use a little better hardware. Um, oh, the other thing too, I've seen some guys asking about <clears throat> to get these things to run true and get them going as fast as you can get them to go, you have to have this nut, basically the prop nut, and the bottom of your back of your boat have to be the same height off the ground. So you have to put a level on your boat, make sure that's perfectly level, <clears throat> and then measure from here to here and from here to here. Now you can adjust it here, there's four holes here, or you could adjust it here on this thing, but mine's bent. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see it there. Mine's bent. I have to do something about that. So I just got as close as I could with this. I'm about a half inch off, but I'm still cruising at like 27 miles an hour. And this boat will slide around. So like I said before, if you're going to run something like this, don't run a 1436 or any nonsense like that. Get a 1448 or something a little bigger, even a 1454 would be awesome but don't get a narrow one get as wide as you can <clears throat> you'll thank yourself later and uh i think that's about it if anybody has any questions or anything like that just let me know i'll try to answer them thanks